The large blue was once extinct in Britain, but it relies on farm animals in a way so bizarre you couldn't make it up. Meadow ants nesting in the grass may irritate the adults, but are an unlikely asset for their caterpillars. That's because large blues have a rather interesting approach to parental care. Their young are adopted by ants. The caterpillar mimics the sound and smell of the ant's own young and, mistaken for a mislaid ant larva, is taken back to the nest by the foraging ant workers. But it doesn't repay the favour. Once underground, the caterpillar leads a predatory life, eating the ant's own larvae, until one day it's ready to change into a pupa, and eventually emerges as one of Britain's rarest butterflies. Ants are vital to the butterfly, but if the grass is too long, they move out. So without sheep to keep the grass short, there'd be no ants. And without the ants, the large blue would be lost. They are curious about things that don't benefit their survival directly. The white-tailed deer is fawned late this year, and as always, turkey boy is vying for some reaction. But this time, he's bitten off more than he can chew. The young deer can give as good as she gets. Sweet Pea's favorite is far more amiable. The fox squirrel seems to want to play as much as she does. There's no question in my mind that these birds experience joy in their lives. learning new things about turkeys every day, but this was not just about how they lived their life. These animals were showing me how to live my life also. Oh, Mola, deep, coming right in. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh okay, my gosh. so Mola, guys, right in front of us. 82 meters, 82 meters. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Just an hour into their dive, and the team has found a sunfish. They've never observed one this deep before. It's really <laughs> elegant, despite the fact that it just looks like a big dinner plate with two <laughs> fins on either side. Sunfish can grow to be over three meters long and weigh two and a half tons. It's the world's largest bony fish. As it grows, it gains an incredible one kilogram per day. Its main food is jellyfish, so Tierney thinks sunfish might be venturing down here to feed on them. But today, they're after something else. Sunfish skin carries as many as 40 different parasites. The tiny organisms are removed by cleaner fish. Without this cleaning service, sunfish would become infested with parasites, compromising their health. This is the first time that such behavior has been seen at depth in Galapagos. Like it's sort of in another world right now. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it's very aware of what's going on around it. 
by taking that unusual attitude, it's saying to everybody who could potentially clean it, I'm ready for my spa treatment, come in and exfoliate me, I'm not gonna eat you, I'm, I'm at peace, and come do your thing. For me, they underscore how everybody plays a role. Everyone is what makes this system tick. Marine iguanas take in too much salt with their food. But with the help of special glands, they sneeze it out. They also welcome these resourceful visitors. Sally Lightfoot crabs like to groom them for algae, parasites and dead skin. Lava lizards, far smaller reptilian relatives, have found their own ingenious ways to get by on this fierce shoreline. They enjoy a special relationship with the sea lions. The lizards rid them of flies, which can be a ticklish nuisance. This sea lion accepts these predatory lizards. Both benefit. With hiding places at a premium, fish will go to incredible lengths to hide down here, and none more so than this. The pearlfish is vulnerable out in the open, so while not feeding, it must conceal itself. But it has a particular taste in hiding places. This is a sea cucumber, which feeds on the sea floor. Its body is basically a living tube. It sucks in sand at one end, extracts anything edible, and passes waste out the other. Just what the pearlfish has been looking for but not the mouth end. It's drawn to the odour of the other end. Sea cucumbers are repulsive to most predators, so the pearl fish is safe inside. It'll stay there until it's time to feed again. It doesn't harm its host, but the bad news for sea cucumbers is that pearlfish are happy to share their temporary home with others. It seems there's plenty of room for all. <laughs> <laughs> 